Hey, Floss Tube. I'm Amy. I love toads and cross stitch. Today is Saturday, March 23rd, 2023. It's uh, one day from being a month since I did my last floss tube. So I'm going to come on here and show you my stitching. Um, I just woke up, a nap, woke up from a nap. So um, I'm not fully all together, but I have the house to myself. Except for the dogs. Dogs are over there. Um, and I'll pause if uh, Miha barks. Or my husband comes in. Or my son comes in. <laughs> so there might be a lot of breaking up. Um, I have one finish. One fully finish. Whips. I think four starts. You know, I didn't start anything in December or January, well, February and March, I've started four things now. Um, so let's get started. I will show you my finish first. Oh, this is Floss Tube 104. I finished Twitching Noses by Mojo Stitches. Now, my WIFGO call was, or one of my WIFGO calls was to stitch on Wise Owl. You know, I don't do very well with Wise Owl. She's like my only whip that does not call to me, but I want her done. So I really wanted to stitch on bunny rabbits right now because Easter is next week. And so my, bur my, my board, my rules, I went ahead and switched my wise owl out for twitching noses. So she's still on there one more time. I will be working on wise owl one more time, but I just went ahead and worked on the rabbits and I finished my rabbits. So I used all the called for colors, but I used the DMC colors. It, oh, I don't have, all I have is the, the cover page. Okay, this is Mayflower by Fox and Rabbit. It's 36 count. I did it one over two. And I did use the DMC called for. Aren't they cute? Yep, I wanna get a little frame for those. I was hoping to get a frame for those, for them before Easter but I don't know if that's gonna happen. I might be making a frame, we'll see. So let me just show you, my rabbits turned out much more brown than the picture. In the picture, they're sort of orange. They have an orange hue to them. But I like them. So this is an antique reproduction. You might hear uh, Miha over there eating. She's making all kinds of little noises. So isn't that, that turn out cute? It's so cute. I can't wait to get a frame for that or make a frame for that. Okay, so my F, F, O, uh, let me reach. I'm gonna have to reach and pull my whips over in a minute. Is my ugly ducklings. I don't have the cover page for this anymore. This was a Dimensions Gold Petite, and I used the fabric and the floss from the kit. I stitched on a lot of this um, at StitchCon last year. I almost finished it at StitchCon last year. Ended up finishing it when I got home, and then turned it into like a little pillow. This is my favorite fabric ever in the whole wide world, and I probably only have less than a fat quarter left. So I decided to put it on the back of this pillow so I could turn it around and look at it anytime. I put a little, a green border on there just cause I knew the edges were gonna be a, around it a bit and I didn't wanna lose any of the picture. So, and that's so cute. It's so much smaller, like it's it's little. It might not look little in the camera, but it's pretty little. 
So this is cute for Easter also, but it's probably gonna stay up all the time. Okay, I'm gonna pull my whips over. So let me pause you, hold on. Okay, here we go. I had to go get my basket also. I forgot my basket. Uh, the first one, first out of the whips, is Float by Plum Street Sampler. I am stitching this with Donna Ray and Natalie. We Zoom around once a month and we are stitching these together and we are putting these two together. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And this one's by Heartstring. This is by Plum Street. And I think I'm stitching this on an R&R. &R. I think, do I have it written down? Um, I think it's weathered shingle. Here it is. It's 40 count weathered shingle by R&R. &R. I need to write that down somewhere. And I have a thread hanging, but it will be fine. This is where I'm at. So I am finished with the top part. And you know what? I think there is. Did I see it? Did I see it? Yes, there's like a little picture of them joined together right here. So that's what I'm doing. So I finished that butterfly and now I'm starting like right there on the bottom half. Um, my son keeps going in and out. So the light is gonna be changing a bit. Doesn't it look good? It looks so good, I love the colors. I probably say that every time. <clears throat> So I just work on that one. We're zooming together, me and the girls. Okay, this one I worked on a couple times. Humming of the Bees by, by Blackbird Designs. And it is for my brick house wall. My brick house collection. There's my brick houses. And this is, I guess, inspired by, I'm going to show you, this is the original in the book. So it's inspired. What is this on? This is on, I believe, Fawn by Picture This Plus, 36 count. Oh, let me back up. The neighbors are walking their dog in the they're walking across, but Miha's not in here. She's in the back, so. Oh, let me move my thread, hold on. I'm a little bit of a hot mess today because I'm still half asleep. Okay, she's barking at Bella. Bella's their dog. Okay. So the bottom border is done. I just gotta turn the corner and come up. So that's how big it's gonna be, or how wide it's gonna be. Oh, and um, I'll throw, I forgot. See, I'm, I'm not awake yet. I'll throw in before pictures. So I'll pull back and you can see where I was. I'll, I'll put the picture over my face. Oh, here she comes, she might start barking. Hello, sunshine. Yep, so got more of the brick done, got the house, the uh, house's door done. The rest of the plant, the bird. <laughs> she just went back out. 
she gets so excited when Bella walks down the street. So I'm using all the call for colors, um, even the over dyes, and I think some of the over dyes that I didn't have, I'm using the DMC. Okay, this is one of my new starts. And I started this one for a bleep day, leap day, Sal. So I'm stitching this one and started this one with Colette, the highway stitcher, and Lisa, she is half of Stitching the Dream. We Zoomed together and we started this together and we're hoping to get together once a month on the 29th or around, you know, around the 29th and work on this one. It's called Symphony of Friendship. It's by Cottage Garden Samplings and it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. We all started right here in that corner and I got to the dove and I saw a morning dove on my feeder they really rest at the bottom of my feeder and feed from bird seed that has fallen, but she was like sitting on top of it. The bird feeder's right outside my window. That's why I'm pointing over there. Um, she was sitting on top of it, I guess, waiting for bird seed to fall so she could pick it up. Okay, this is being stitched on Dusty Road from Seraphim and it's 36 count. And I'm in love. I'm in love with the pattern. I'm in love with the fabric. Let me fold it so you can see it. And I, I have another, I've, I left threads on all of my projects this time. And that is, yes, where I'm at. Okay, so this is part of that tree from the roots of the tree. And then this is the start of that morning dove. Isn't it beautiful? And that needle minder I won at StitchCon last year. This one I'm using all the called for. There are three over dies. And the rest is DMC, so Ooh, love those colors, greens and browns. But then, um, yeah, the rest is DMC. So that is start number one. Hello, Miha. You want up here, baby girl? Hold on, let me pause and get my baby girl up here. I moved her little stairs over. Uh, it had been raining outside, so she is a little bit wet. So. Now my sleeves are a little bit wet. So she's right here. You might be able to see her little head. Okay, my next one is another new start. This is the start for my birthday. So my birthday was the day after I did my last floss tube. So my birthday was February the 25th. And I wanted to start a needle book. I have a couple and I didn't know which one to start. So I went ahead and started the one that I had purchased from StitchCon last year, so 2023. And I wanted to, you know, at least do something I had bought from StitchCon last year. So I started this needle book, Roveris. I hope they have her trunk show again this year because I want to get a good picture of this and the inside. So it opens up and there's like bees all in the inside and you put little pockets with bees on it. But there's not a good picture of it. So I have that. I have my 
thread on my spider hanger. Now I am stitching this on ancient. I'm doing 32 count because that's what it called for. And I kind of wish I would have done 36 count, but the reason I did the 30, I went ahead and did the 32 is because it comes with the buttons and the little charm and these little hexagon felt pieces. So you can like stick your needle in them and I didn't want them to be too big for the piece. But after I started, I thought, oh, you could have cut them down. You, I could have cut these hexes down. So it would have been okay for me to do a 36, but it'll be fine. <laughs> so anyway, it's 32 ancient. And here is where I'm at. So I got a B butt and lots of little bees at the bottom. Got some bees on the side that are not finished yet. They don't have their stripes, their yellow stripes or their wings. So there's an the inside and then it will fold up, you know, like that and be a needlebook. I love this fabric. And this only takes two colors. And since it's on 32, oh, and I'm only stitching it one over two on 32. I'm only using one thread. Just to make, I like stitching with one thread. I would rather stitch with one thread. So just it looks fine, so I just went ahead and only did one thread. Okay, my next one is another new start. I know, is this my third one or my fourth one? I don't know, I lost track. Okay, anyway, this one, I started on the first day of spring and I started it with Michelle Cozy Egg and one or two other people, but I don't know who they are yet. I'll know later. <laughs> this is um, by Brenda Gervais with a needle and it's called At Home and I love it. I just love it. I love the saying in the brick house and Amazon is in front of our house so I might have to pause. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's not look at the Amazon driver. Okay, this is stitched on 40 count vintage country mocha. You want to get down? Okay, Amazon driver is gone. Miha has left the building. I don't know where I was. <laughs> Hot mess express here. Okay. At home, I love this so much. I love the colors. I love the trees and the deer and that brick house, which is gonna go with my collection. I love the robins and the nest on top of the roof. The saying, oh my goodness, is beautiful. Do I wanna read it to y'all? For genuine happiness, we not need roam. Tis doubtless found with little and at home. It's just beautiful. Okay. I am using Vintage, vintage Country Mocha, 40 count. I am using the called for colors. Um, and Knopf, who watches me here on Floss Tube, and we follow each other on Instagram, she got me a one, two, three stitch gift card for my birthday. So I bought the flosses and the fabric for this project. So I kitted this po project up. And another project, which I will show you in my haul. So I'm using the called for. Aren't they beautiful? 
they're all muted. You know I love soft muted colors. And here we go. Let me see where the top is. <laughs> this is the top left corner. Isn't that beautiful? I just wanted to keep going. I'm going to try, so this top side, I'm going to try to come all the way down so I can start working off of this border to like start doing some trees, the grass, eventually get to the house and then work on the house and then the border and then the house and the border. But I want to get down to the bottom first so I can just work off wherever and kind of see how long it's going to be so I can cut some of this fabric off. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I will link Michelle um, underneath in the description box. Okay. Next, I stitch on this one. I put like a thread or two in it every morning when I wake up and drink my coffee. Oh, this is one of my hauls. I got that from um, the Needlework Market. I wrapped my thread around it for this project, like my extra thread I'm wrapping around my little butterfly. Okay, this is Plum Street. It is Tortoise Tower. I'm stitching this one over one on 28 count because I'm putting it in my phone case. I have a clear phone case and I want to put it in the back of my phone case. I changed the tortoise to look like my tortoise. So they're like tan and brown and I changed the flowers to be blue. So and there is some one over one on probably 36 count. No, yeah, one over one on 36 count. All this is like one over two, and then you stitch the head and the tail one over one. Well, I'm already stitching one over one, so I faked that. I just faked that little section and made him look like a tortoise. And I'm gonna stand up, because it's, it's little. It looks big, but it's little. I mean, look, there's my needle minder, and my needle minder is almost the same size. <laughs> This fabric is Atomic Ranch. Ooh. Weathered stone, I think. So I'll hold it back and you can see the before. So yeah, it'll be so, I hope, I hope like, you know, my phone case. Oh, here's my tag. Let's see. Is it weathered stone? It is weathered stone. Okay, I stitched on this one for one day. I try to work on this one day at the beginning of each month. Oh, here comes somebody else walking down the street with their baby, but Miha is outside. This is my Design Works kit. Woodland Castle. I'm over here somewhere. I only worked on it for one day, so it's not much, but I think I did do some back stitching, so you might be able to see a little bit of progress. So I'll hold it up here first. Let me move the thread. Let me move the thread. Hold on. Move my needle minder. using the Kit Ada and the Kit Floss. This 
So this one will be coming out again when? Today's the 23rd, so in two weeks maybe? We'll see. Might be able to see I added more back stitching. When I get done with this and I upload this, the dogs are getting a bath and they're getting their nails clipped. They don't know. They don't know that. Okay. This was my other WIPCO call for March. Bothy Threads. It is a kit. It's called, what, Swimming School? swimming school. I use this fabric. The dots come on the fabric. I use the thread. I started this at StitchCon last year and I got a flipper done. So I worked on that flipper mostly. Oh, whoops. It goes this way. That look good. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I love it in the camera. This is two over one eight a square. Oh, this is my fourth new start, but I'm really not counting it as a start because it's sort of what they call a tissue box where you finish one and you start another. So it just replaced one. It is the next stocking that I'm doing. So it replaced Asher's stocking that I just finished. It is for my son's girlfriend, Hannah. It's a dimensions kit. And I am liking it because it is all just two. I don't even know if there's one thread. There's no three, four, five, six threads. It's all just two threads. And it's either full cross or half cross. So it's been, it's been nice. Um, I decided to keep the red suit to make my life easier. I just didn't have the brain power to switch out the colors and he's cute and my husband says that Santa wears red. So <laughs> I'm just keeping the red suit. Let me see which way this goes. This way. Okay. Stitching it on the Ada that it came with and using all of the called for colors. And that's the little bobble that he's hanging on the tree. Hold on. So that, that bobble and his glove is right there. And then that red, that red. So this is his arm and that's his bobble. And I did a lot of the background. A lot of Sundays I didn't stitch. I was busy on Sundays and like next Sunday's Easter. So I probably won't stitch next, next Sunday either. Tomorrow's Sunday, and I'll probably get some stitches in tomorrow. But yeah, new start, but not counting really towards my whip list because it replaced another whip. stitched on my bat y'all I love this bat this is a needle book cutest needle book in all the land let me find the cover page
This is Mr. Baron Von Bat by Black Blackberry Lane Designs. And I'll be putting little felt on his belly and then he folds up and he's a needle book. Oh, what am I stitching him on? I'm gonna need my glasses. This is tiny. It's a seraphim fabric called Nantucket Eve and it's a 36 count and I'm stitching it one over two. The front of the bat is finished and I'm working on the bottom of the, no, the back of the bat. I think he, like, look how cute. Okay, I'll pull back and put a, if I have a before. I don't know if I have a before of this, but hopefully I do. And I, th I think I did finish that left wing on the um the back of the bat i think his so now i just got to do the middle and then the right wing and then put him together he would actually be cool to take to stitch con for the brag table if i could get him done by stitch con Pulled this one out and did another letter. This is the Garden Sampler by Carriage House. I'm trying to do a letter a month. And I did H, H for hair. This is um, R and R, thirty six count beach brew, and I'm doing it one over two. So I did the hair. before in I've changed a few of the colors but not a lot and that'll be more fun to work on now that spring is here I seem to be a seasonal stitcher I didn't I didn't think I was but like I just like to stitch in the seasons. Um, I didn't feel like working on any of my Christmas pieces, so I didn't. If you, if you, yeah, no Christmas pieces. Okay, I have my full coverage here, and I think I'm going to take it out of the Q snap so you can see the whole thing. So I'll be right back. Okay, I have this picture over here of her, but I. I think I'm going to put a um, better, I'm going to insert a better picture. But just to show you, I cut her off here and here, but then I found a cute frame. So really I'm cutting her off uh, probably there and there. Um, what is this? 25 count, one over one full cross. And I love her. And I love that little dog. That little monster. Oh, okay. This is called The Favorite. Um, the artist is Omar Rayon, and it was charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And I just have that corner to do. Just right here. And I'm hoping it will fit in that frame after I finish that corner.
Yep, it's gonna be so great. <laughs> I'll pull back and I'll show you. I, I have it before, cause I know I showed this in my last video. So let me think. Probably next I'm gonna work on my spider one because that one is the next closest to being done. We'll see. Okay. So I'm gonna put her back in the Q snap later and probably work on her a bit tonight. Um, I'm going to go get my haul and stitchy sweetness um, so y'all can see what I got for market at market. I think that's it. Okay. Hold on. Hello again. Okay. What do I show you first? Um, I'll show you my mar market haul first. Now I only allow myself to get three patterns, but I did get a little bit of extras. <laughs> the patterns I got were Okay, first I ordered, here comes my husband. Hold on. Oh no, never mind. He went and got the Amazon package on the front porch. <laughs> He's not coming in. He's so sweet. Okay, first I ordered from Liberty Hill. My, that's my LNS now, which is an hour away, but still it's my LNS. But then I ordered three things from Lindy Stitches. So one of the patterns I ordered was from Liberty Hill. No, that's not it. Hold on. Oh, is it? No, it's this one. Sorry. <laughs> it's this one. <laughs> it's bobbin. Didn't everybody get bobbin? Everybody got bobbin. I love him. He reminds me of one of the mice from Cinderella and he's getting ready to sew her dress. She, she is getting ready to sew her dress because the little male mice go and find beads and ribbon and the female mice sew the dress. Um, after I went to Liberty Hill, my husband and I went to an antique shop in Williamsburg and I picked up a spool. It's kind of big, but I think that she will be so cute on this spool. So I'm gonna like do some twine around it and stick her on top and then bring the thread up and put it in the needle and set her on my mantle. So I just thought that was really cool. She's just gonna be a little tiny mice on this spool. Tiny mouse. Okay, so remember I told you that Knopf got me a one, two, three gift card one, two, three stitch gift card. I kitted up, I kitted up Bobbin. I kitted up Bobbin and I kitted up um, at home. And then I bought another pattern, but I'll show you that in a minute. So then I got these buttons and I got Another little bobbin winder from Heartstring Samplery. And I got these new scissors. The retro scissors. Retro flower scissors. And I love them. Love, love, love them. I put one of Jen Upton's um, fobs on here. This is my favorite fob. I like to play with it. Okay, then from Lindy Stitches, I ordered the bees from um, Sweet Melissa from Heartstring Sampler. This was the year of the bees, I swear. So I got a bee fa like bees, bees. And bees, I love this. I love this so much. This is from the Blue Flower. And it's a greenhouse and it's, it looks like that. So I cannot wait to stitch those flowers and all those bees. Okay. 
and I must be like, look, I'm into 3D things. All, all three of my patterns that I got from Market, hold on, let's hold this up better. All three of the patterns I got from Market are 3D. Well, he's kind of 2D, but whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm into the 3D thing. So that was my Market haul. And then with my one, two, three stitch gift card I, that I kitted up things with, I also got this. It's a Mill Hill kit and I wanna stitch it for Hannah, my son's girlfriend. She's into photography. So in college, she's taking photography and cinematography. So she has a camera collection. So I think that'll be so cute to stitch her. So um, I might start, start this at StitchCon. And then I have another kit that from Satsuma Street that I'm stitching Asher for Christmas. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start that at StitchCon also. It's cause they're like little and yeah. Okay. Let's see. Then my girlfriend Becky and I went to the Woodland Needlework Show. No, Woodlawn, Woodlawn Needlework Show. It's up, is it in And Alexandria, Arlington? I think it's Alexandria, Virginia. It's like two minutes from In Stitches. And it was amazing. It always is amazing. It's about an hour and 20 minutes away from here. And then after Becky and I went to the show, we went to In Stitches and I purchased two things. So I went ahead and got the Happiness is Homemade Cookbook. And I was looking through it. I'm not a big cook. I mean, I do cook a couple times a week but it, I thought it would be fun to um, have a lot of the patterns. A lot of the patterns are really cute. But this is what sold me. I wanna make that. Hold on, let me tell you what it's called. Chicken Alfredo, Alfredo lasagna. That looks so good. I was like, okay, I need the cookbook just so I can make that. And why not, right? It's like a little collector's item. And then I got this. I've been eyeballing this. It has been on my one, two, three stitch list, which wish list. This is by Teresa Bennett, uh, Shakespeare's Peddler. Isn't that beautiful? It's just gorgeous. I think it's from, is it from a needlepoint? Oh, I don't have time to read this. I feel like she got it from like a needlepoint. Anyway, okay. And I don't know whether I'm stitching it on the black or a neutral. I like them both. I like them both of them so much okay so that is all my purchases my market and then my um in stitches haul and now i have some gifts that i received wendy from stitching in neverland sent me a birthday card it came um one day after my birthday it came like on the 26th so it came like two days after my video and she gave me a little um, toad sticker that I've already stuck on my iPad cover. And then my girlfriend, Becky, gave me this. Becky also took me to the Needlework show for my birthday. That's why we went. Well, we go because we love Needlework, but she took me for my birthday. So this, isn't that box cool? 
but look what's inside. Aww. This is thread dyed with flowers, plants and flowers. Isn't that beautiful? She knows I love to substitute colors. And I love that they're on these little bobbins. So let's see, some of them, Black Eyed Susan, Black Walnut, Cosmos, Marigold, Pomegranate. Isn't that cool? I'm in love. I'm in love with the colors. I'm in love that they're dyed with flowers. Here's some what she picked. There's other palettes too, she said. She picked this for the, um, cause she knew I would like this palette, color palette, but the, it came with some other samples also. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, she has an Etsy shop. So I will try and link her Etsy shop below. It's Woodland Collections. Oh, no, that's that's this collection's called. She's called Ramble and Roots. Ramble and Roots. Oh, I just love it. I love it. So that is it, I think. But I do have a little announcement. Call me crazy, but really quick. This is going to be a long video, a long, crazy video. I bought a toy. Well, my husband bought me a toy. And I want to start making stuff for needleworkers, cross-stitchers. Um, I bought a laser cutter for wood. Well, it, it'll cut acrylic and wood. I think it'll engrave in leather. So anyway, we got it home and we set it up and it's been a very trial and error uh, testing stuff. So this is the first thing we printed. So when we got it home, we did not have wood yet. So we stuck a piece of, not cardboard. What's this called? Box, like a box. <laughs> Part of a box in there. I guess it's called cardboard. Yeah. And we etched a shell. Then we put it on a really low setting because we didn't want to set this on fire. So we etched that. And then my husband etched out Asher's picture. And then we etched out a little hammerhead shark. So this is all like on cardboard box. And then we got some wood, but it was plywood. And I cut out a turtle. So cute. Now he is a fourth of an inch and I, I want an eighth of an inch. So, and then I cut out a needle, no, a corner gauge, but I ended up putting my holes wrong. So that hole should be down there. So I was like, okay, I need to do this again. And it's on the one-fourth cut or the one-fourth thickness. So then I got an eighth of an inch and tried it on that and then I didn't make it dark enough. So it's all like, okay, gotta try this, gotta try this, gotta do this setting, gotta do this setting, gotta try this wood, gotta try this wood. And then this one was today's. So any of those toes and I have a one inch, one and a half, two, two and a half, and then it is the one eighth thickness. Isn't it cute? So I'm gonna do, um, we're just playing around and having fun with it right now. Um, and, that's, and that's what I just wanna do. I just wanna have fun with it and help people with, I don't know, how, how do I say it? with their cross-stitch storage <laughs> uh, for tool tools. I kind of want to do some frames. 
some bell pulls, some needle minders. I have no desire to branch out of the needlework and cross stitch world. Like I just want to do it for what I love. Um, and it's just for fun. It's not, I'm not paying the house payment with it or anything, <laughs> you know? So um, let me know if you have any ideas and I will continue to show you what I make with it. It is going to be a while because um, we're just slowly learning the program and come drawing in, th in things and then converting it to another program and putting it in. But it's been fun. It's been really fun. So, and I have more wood coming. So, okay. I think that is it. I will see you in April around, hopefully around the 23rd, 24th, something like that. Um, plans are to do the WIPCO calls when they come out. Tomorrow? No, Monday. They come out Monday. Stitch on my garden sampler. Finish the H. No, hair. J. K, no, K, I get, I don't know what's next. What did I do, hair or J for jackrabbit? Anyway, stitch the next letter. Work on Woodland Castle. I wanna work on my full coverage. So we'll see. Okay guys, I'm going. This has been too long. <laughs> I love you all, bye.